if you could um, maybe talk about the fact that oh, I think at least 12 bishops are going to be investigated by this uh, Vatican Tribunal. I, I don't know if that's... I, I, I know uh, uh, just what's in the, in the newspapers about the, the Tribunal. You heard Mary Collins herself saying that uh, the detail is still to be worked out, so I, I just don't know exactly what the procedures they'd be doing. Okay. Yeah. What's your view, Archbishop, on this idea of retrospective justice? Retrospective justice, uh, the, the uh, uh, you know, the, generally speaking, uh, new legislation is not retrospective, um, but that doesn't mean uh, that this is a new structure rather than new legislation, uh, and um, uh, you know that I think it'll just you know they'd have to apply the normal principles of justice, um, uh, you know about uh, you, know, you know if what happened was was a breach of the law and a breach of uh, of of, of um, you know, the responsibility of a bishop, but you know, that, that they should feel free to investigate it. Mm -hmm. Well, Mary Collins got clarification on this matter yesterday where yeah. this new tribunal is concerned, yeah. and apparently it will be investigating people retrospectively. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I would imagine so. How far back you go, I just, this is the question I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Do you think, is it fair? I mean, the, the, the crime, so to speak, in canon law didn't exist before the setting up of this tribunal. I, I, well, that's what you'd have to find out. If, you know, did it exist? Yeah. And, and canon law has, is, is actually very versatile because it takes in things like natural, ju natural justice and, and, and other principles, uh, um, you know, so that we have to look, look at that. You were very moved by the testimony I was, of the yeah. this morning, very clearly. Still, it's an issue that obviously uh, gets to you personally. Um, no, it just reminds you of so many stories you've heard. And she put it extraordinarily well. Um, and um, she's, uh, see, a very sensitive woman. Uh, I've met her before. Um, when she says that if she finds a priest who annoys her, she says it. Uh, and she says it very well. <laughs> How come if you can get it, clearly, that so many of your colleagues and former colleagues have not, or at least... I, I, don't, blame, I don't blame anybody else. Yeah. What about the institution? Did All you I can say is, you know, what, what I heard, that's a classical story. Uh, you couldn't but be moved. But she, um, Bridge, was talking about her journey through spirituality. Yeah. Um, what about victims who can't find that spirituality in them? What would you say to them? I mean, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. When I get her letter today, maybe from a solicitor, maybe from from an individual, maybe from another organisation, that some victim has come forward, maybe uh, twenty years after their abuse. You know, there are two actions. I could say, well, these people they should have come forward earlier, or I can say. As I said there, uh, here's somebody who hasn't been able to talk, and they've been going through what she's been going through, without, uh, without the, the, end, the, 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 the end there. Um, uh, I hope that Torch Peace will be able to reach to those people, uh, and um, you know, every every case that's, that, that's there, um, it, it you know the the. the the sexual abuse of a person touches a person in their depths, because it's actually it's not just the the the, the horrible me mechanics, it's a, it's an attack on their dignity, on their worth. Basically, somebody who abuses a child sexually is saying you're worth nothing, and you don't get over that. Um, I can do what I like with you. You don't get that over, get out of that overnight. Yeah.